Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Space Engineers update video. Today we have a fairly interesting update. There is three new blocks, so to say, added. You can see them on my help bar here, if I just come off. Uh, it's called the pro Productivity Module, the Effectiveness Module, and the Power Efficiency Module. Now, they work with, as you can see on the backs here, of the refineries, and if you see over the back there, the assemblers, or at least, if you can tell just here, one of them only doesn't work with the assembler, but I will get back to that. So if you now look over at the back of this refinery here, as a good model, there is a few more, well, quite a few more ports, but you can't actually access these like you would a normal port, so it's not like one of these, it is just for specifically these modules. Same with the assembler. Although, for the assembler, I can show over here, it sort of fits on both things. So you can put it over the top of this one as well, because you can see there's the inner one of that size on this side as well. But obviously it's normal port as it would be. So, what do these things do? Good question. Well, I, I kind of got to set this demonstration up, but I'll explain that in a second. It basically goes that, if I read over on the other screen, Productivity, Effectiveness and Power Efficiency. The product module can make the refinery and assembler work faster. So, basically if you're like in need of things going faster, you would use those modules on them. I do believe you, well, I don't know for sure, but I can assume you can interchange them. I haven't really tested that. Let me test that on this refinery over here where I put one on each of them, and I know I can check it in a second. So, obviously you can see there's the ports on the bottom of this one at this precise moment, so if you do that, and I don't think it matters how you set this thing up, so I can just put this one like so, do the same with that one, and then put this one, if I tap onto it right, uh, put it down like that, but then rotate it like that. Excuse me, that also works. So I'll, look, I'll check that one in a moment, whether that's uh, going to be what it thinks, but... So yeah, basically it makes the assembler and run faster. So which one's the productivity one again? Sorry, that's that one which is this one in the middle? Or I know that's the power one here. Or is it this one here? I think it's this one here. Can't quite tell the difference between this one, the product productivity one, and the other one at the moment. I can tell the power one. It's quite obvious. Uh, I think there's a port on the top I can click on. Yep, there we go. Uh, also... With this kind of update, I believe there's a bit of a glitch, which you can probably tell in the shadow here, is um, you get a little jiggy when you're moving around whilst flying. I think that's a bit of a bug for this update, but I'm sure they'll fix that pretty easy enough. So, if I go on to control panel for this one, for this refinery, and you can see there's a few little new things up here. So productivity is at 500% because of the... I believe it's... Is it five I've added on, or is it just the four? Well, actually, no, I suppose we've only added four, so... Yes, added on another 100% each. So, basically, each module adds on... Well, basically, adds on... Itself again. Another 100% to it. Yeah, that makes sense. So, that's productivity on that one. So And then, also, the effectiveness module, which is only compatible for the refinery, it does not work with the assembler for the reason that it actually is. What it does is increases the effectiveness or the efficiency when creating ingots. So basically, you get more ingots out of your actual raw material. That's what I believe that means. So if I go back onto this one, on the control panel, effectiveness is at 200%. So basically you double it. So obviously you don't get as much out of this for the amount that's in here as you would obviously that. So that can make it go a heck of a lot faster, but you can only get double the amount of ingots out of your raw materials. But that's still pretty good. So obviously, th this setup I've got here, I've got it so probably the fast thing that you'd probably want to use is for things that go really slow, like your uranium. And obviously your rare materials you'd want to put through this one so that you get more out of it. And then your power efficiency one you'd want with your like less important materials like all the stone that you're going to get so you might as well just save on your power and just use that to do it that's what i'm that's what this setup is 
obviously you filter them through the filter blocks and then obviously it comes back out again into the the assemblers and then the assemblers are just I'll have a look at them in a second but this one and then obviously power efficiency 500% so you get the same amount of power efficiency as you would the other one so if I go over to this other refinery and see what it does when you add multiple things onto it does it actually work so control panel Productivity is at 200%, effectiveness is only 119%, power efficiency 150%. So they do stack differently, if that makes sense. So you can have multiple ones on each of them. And I do believe you don't actually have to connect them specifically like that. They can go between two things. They can go between two refineries, or they can go between a refinery and that. So if I add another say uh, there's no point doing the effectiveness one so if i do the power one and if i put that like so so do we remember what that was i think it was obviously the pa power percentage was 100 percent this is now at 183 percent so obviously it divides it between the two because obviously it's got two different ports so it's gonna if i look into this one this will have power efficiency 122 percent so it's not necessarily as perfect as it was. I don't know whether that makes any difference. Uh, if I check on the power one, would that have been at 200%? Let's take that off for a moment. That's only at 150%. So it doesn't make as much power percentage in that sense. But it basically, one port makes a quarter of itself for assemblers and so half for refinery. But like I said, it doesn't work the product productivity one doesn't work for assemblers, so that's why this one is red. Basically, if it's red, it's not connected. Or it's not working because it's incorrectly put. So that's why that one is red. I just put it there just to demonstrate that. Uh, I wouldn't know necessarily if this is a good setup in here. I just put them to demonstrate. I would have to refine or uh, revise it a bit more, but I'm just trying to put this video out quickly whilst thinking, but obviously filter in through there, filter into the cargo storage. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for that sort of thing. Uh, what else is there? Oh, I did, oh, yeah, power efficiency, basically, you know what it does. It's just, yeah, I've done that. Uh, oh, yeah, the other thing. That's the next thing. If I go to the uh, K menu, go to your info. They have made it so that you can change the distance for, well, show distance for individual things. So your friendly antennas, your enemy antennas, and your owned antennas. So... Basically, if you want to be able to see, it's, it's to show, it's to kind of make it a bit less, if there's so many antenna things around, a bit less crowded. So if, obviously if you want to be able to see enemies first, which I think would be first, the, you'd want your enemies top so that you get the perfect or the most warning out of them. Uh, maybe your friendly ones next and your own ones not so much, unless you really need to find where your home is sort of thing. So basically you can individually set where you see them from. And that's that main one there. I think that's pretty much everything else. Yep, yeah, upgrade modules for a refinery and assembler. And that antenna visibility and then there's a few, quite a few fixes. Character camera. Uh yeah. O2 fixes. And then they obviously they have a bonus thing that they've decided, but I can't demonstrate it to you myself because I haven't had the chance really to get the actual mod in the setup because I didn't really have much chance I just wanted to get this video sorted but basically there will be a link in my description because it will be the same description as their video because I don't want to get anything wrong I just want to get it pretty much it's they they explain it the best way I'm just gonna have it so that they explain it the best way but basically they're, they have a workshop item that's what I should say that you can subscribe to and it's called oh dear god Basically, you know how you can turn into a deer in medieval engineers? Well, this one, when you take your hat off, you are a deer head. That that would be... I can't... Yeah, that's not what I want. I want V. So basically, when you press J, not L, J, you would have a deer head. That would be the mod. But I don't have it installed, unfortunately. So I can't really demonstrate it to you, but I'm sure if you go and look at their video, you will see it at the end. Um, that is pretty much everything 
for this update. Uh, including the bug that I've... Well, not that I've noticed. It's it. There's already someone showing it. Oh no, it's not doing... Oh, there we go. It's, it's, when you, it's not when you move around like this. That's kind of fine. It's when you rotate left and right and when you're just looking around in general. But yeah, Sage has a dancing man of that. But basically, everything done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's informative. If it is, please leave the video a like. Leave your comments below of what you think of the update, and what you think, well, what you, what your ideas are and things and thoughts and all that, Liz. And yeah, subscribe if this is your first time watching, because then you can see all the rest of them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.